Okay, so <laughs> here is another replay I have saved. Um, this is another battle versus Chief Dr. Fennekin. This was such a cool battle, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, so basically I have Garchomp in this team. It was like pretty much after that Mega Garchomp news was announced, I did a random battle and I come across the Garchomp. I was like, yeah, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is a pretty cool battle actually. He sends out Heatran here. And Plusle, I like Plusle. Plusle and mine are like some of the cutest Hoenn Pokemon. They're like, I don't know, they're just such, you know, unique Pokemon to the region and I like them. And yeah, he was lucky enough to get Latias. This was kind of like a dragonish battle. There's a lot of dragons in this battle, actually. And <laughs> Plusle's gone, but here is now Dragonair versus Dusclops. And there's Draco Meteor and Dusclops. Dusclops is too strong, <laughs> but I love Dragonair. And that's good survival there from Dragonair. Um, and now Poliwag. <laughs> and yeah, it has. What is it? That ability. The ability that absorbs water moves. Water absorb. <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, oh my god. Polywag defeating Dragonair with one return. That's Belly Drum for you. <laughs> and there's Slowpoke surviving it. And revenging Dragonair. <laughs> Avenging, whatever. Revenge kill, whatever it's called. And there's Latios again with a victory. Um, and Nidoking. Nidoking versus Latios, so I was just like, eh, let's just give it a go. But no, it faints anyway. So don't worry, we got, still got Snorlax and Garchomp, which are pretty good Pokemon in OU, I think. Well, Snorlax, it's not really an OU Pokemon, is it? But it's still good to use. I don't know. Oh, come on, Latios. <laughs> um... But yeah, Snorlax was quite strong in this situation and helped me out here quite a bit. Oh, uh, Dark Dust Clouds, what's gonna happen? Body Slam? No. Okay, I guess that was a misclick, or I was being stupid. Either way, I... Mm. Okay, now it's Ice Punch versus Ice Beam, really? <laughs> oh no. Switch out to Snover? I don't think this Snorlax had a lot of good moves, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Come on, Snorlax. No, Blizzard. <laughs> 3%. No way! Oh no, come on. <laughs> that was so close, and now it's only Garchomp versus free Pokemon. And Arshark nearly defeated it. Yeah, at least Snowbird's gone. Now it's just Dusclops to worry about. Nope, never mind. Dusclops is gone, but Garchomp's confused now. <laughs> so now it's basically Dragon vs. Reptile. Same kind of uh, family, I guess. And no, we lost the battle. But that was a cool battle. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that replay. And I'll have more for you to see soon. So don't worry about that at all. I'll have more for you to see. Eventually. Like, right now. Here is the second one I did with Chief Dr. Fennekin. <laughs> it's another random battle I sent out Macho first, but of course he switches into Golurk. And what can Macho do? Oh, Ice Punch. Yeah, this Macho had really good moves, actually. But he's gone. Oh, and he has. He sent out Clefairy first. And yeah, this was probably another dragonish battle after it, actually. It's pretty cool. We have Kyuram, but it's battling a Bisharp. Yeah. Oh, Ice ice Power, that's cool. So yeah, Iron Hat and Ice Power both bring them, both bring them to like 21% or so. <laughs> Pidgeotto switch out. I like Pidgeotto. Oh no, that's gone too. Kyuram's doing pretty well here already, I can tell you that. And Frostlass. Mmm... Frostlass is quite good. They usually just set up, oh don't they? They have a lot of defensive moves and all that. I don't think they set up, they just do like a lot of defensive moves like Taunt, Destiny Bond, all that tricky stuff. And Electrifier? I had Electrifier, that was cool. 
Um, Knowledge Bar is quite good in battling. He's, he's, he's at a low, low tier, but I like him, you know? And Frostfast is gone. <laughs> so is Latchfire. But no, I have Dialga versus Kakuna. <laughs> and yeah, that's right, I had Metapod in my team. So it, it came down to this Metapod versus Kakuna. Tiakul. And he has Iron Defense. My Metapod didn't even have Harden. His has Iron Defense. All I could use was Electro Web and Bug Bite. <laughs> Critical hit. Yeah. Oh my. Mmm. Electro Web. Okay, I think this is just gonna be an Electro Web battle now. Who will become the fastest cocoon? Well, I have no clue. You just have to see for yourself what happens here, because. Well, at least it's not Harden versus Harden, I guess. <laughs> oh no, Electro Web can miss. I didn't really know that. I forget. I thought it was like 100% accuracy or something. But no. Here it is, missing a lot, and Metapod's nearly defeated. I like Metapod more than Kakuna, if I'm honest. And it's being beaten, no. Kakuna is the victor. But we have Garchomp here too. <laughs> oh my, Firefang doing, what, 12% to Kakuna? You're kidding. <laughs> oh my, 12.9. Buckbite versus Firefang. Oh, okay, Cocoon is gone. <laughs> Be sharp. Sucker Punch. That was quite good, but no. Life Orb. It's gone. Or was it Rough Skin? That's right, Rough Skin. Sorry. So it's only Clefairy versus Garchomp and Dialga. But you never know what can happen with the whole Fairy versus Dragon thing. <laughs> Clefairy's not even a Fairy yet. What is happening here? Dialga. <laughs> Toxic. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Chief Dr. Fennekin. <laughs> Draco Meteor missed. Critical hit? <laughs> okay. Well, that was funny. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that too. So those was those were the Chief Dr. Fennekin replays. I enjoyed those a lot. And I hope you did too. So yeah. I hope you enjoy more battles I bring you soon enough, and I'll see y'all around.